Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Rudy from Alpha Investments. I was watching a video on YouTube about someone who was upset at Rudy. And I know that MTG Finance Reddit either hates or loves him. And I want to go over what he actually is and what he represents for the future of Magic Stores. In the future, Magic Stores will all be online. When you read the newspaper, it's Kmart closes, Sears closes, X amount of Macy's people have lost jobs, 20% of this type of retail job is gone. Retail jobs are not, there's not a growth in the retail space. Everyone is moving online. If you want to know, uh, Walmart, who has a huge retail space, they're trying to become the new quote Amazon. They're doing very, very awful at it because their technology is incredibly outdated and they really need to hire better developers but everyone is moving online so what rudy represents is he re represents a new game store the new game store won't have a place for you to play it won't hold fnm it won't be wpn why become a wpn as i found out you give control to wizards of the coast for what 78 dollars booster boxes when you can buy them on david adams for 60 dollars or you can buy from sports and more for under the price of the dis distributor price. Like, why would you pay extra to be a WPN? The whole point is I want to be a WPN so I can pay less, which is no longer true. This is the new model of business, and this is the only business that will survive. That's why I'm going to go digital. All clients are going digital now. Because you cannot sell in a retail space. A retail space is dead. Go to your mall. Look at how many spaces there are for rent. Uh, I used to have a location in called Greenpoint Mall. Very dangerous location, but again, I didn't know at the time. Very cheap. It's $1 a square foot. It is totally empty. When I first came, it was, you know, a lot of big stores and it was uh, the video game store. It's, it was a neat place to have a company, have a startup company. Now it's just uh, a place for crime. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Uh, check it out. Greenpoint Mall in Texas, Houston, Texas. So people don't like this. Uh, MTG Finance doesn't like Rudy. Store owners do not like Rudy because he represents a adaptation and evolution if you will of what a magic store will be and they don't want to change change is difficult out of the eight stores that wanted to sell me their inventory none of them are okay i guess two of them had okay websites the another two had very bad websites but four of them including one huge store i think had twenty thousand square feet i'm not exaggerating i i mean it is a wow store and they wanted to sell me their entire inventory, their uh, Coke machines, their Starbucks machines, and all of this stuff. But it turns out they did not and do not have a website. They are going to get beaten to oblivion. That's why when I look at all these people trying to sell to me, one thing becomes very apparent. None of them have viable websites. They're not making money from e-commerce. Rudy's entire model is based on a subscription on e-commerce and he sells boxes he delivers them to you he's like an amazon amazon will win mom and pop stores will not rudy is going to win your local game store is not and you can fight it you can support quote your local game store but even tolarian and weds and so, some of the biggest proponents of supporting local game stores initially They've given up. Everyone has given up because local game store cannot survive. Not in its current form. So, I mean, you do have some good ones in Houston that have a relatively good website, but the websites look bad. I mean, if you look at Amazon and you look at your local game store website, like why would you buy from your local game store website when it doesn't even work? And Amazon, you just click a button and it's one click buy. And you get the card shipped to you cheaper from many sources like sports and more. Fascinating uh, to see the um, people who don't like Rudy don't like uh, technology. And people have always fought technology for since the beginning of time. 
I mean, even I, I assume even when the internet was developed, people were like, "Oh, no one's going to use the internet." Or when cable, uh, people cable was still fighting for those commercial monies. I work in the space, traditional media, and I can tell you, they're not charging less money; they're charging more money for less views. And then when they have a digital platform like ESPN, then they charge our HBO's model, where you would be a subscription base. Really hard to put commercials in that, guys.、Uh, same with Netflix and things of that nature. So people with stores are very threatened by Rudy and what he stands for.、Uh, he stands for a lot, and he stands for a model which is able to sell more than any local game store model. He moves more product than any local game store. Card Kingdom moves more product than any local game store. So does Star City Games. So does all these places. And as I learned more about the economics, and I had to make a business plan, which I will share with you in the future. With the it has numbers, and I had to do, like it has employees. How much this employee should make? How much that employee should make?、Um, it has you know website main. It has all the numbers in it. But one of the biggest things、um, is very. Oh, I'm in text message about buying a magic collection now、uh, from another store.、Uh, you know, a lot of people are trying to sell. They're not idiots, right? They make it seem like oh, they're selling because of a personal、uh, situation, but at the end of the day, the numbers don't add up. They're trying to sell boxes for eighty dollars.、Uh, they buy a box for seventy-eight dollars. They're trying to sell it for eighty, but a journey to Nick's box, you can get David Adams for sixty. Why would I ever buy from you from eighty? So at the end of the day, you you have a situation where people are afraid. They are afraid of change. They are afraid of what this means to their business. It means their business cannot exist.、Um, it means they have zero, zero opportunity to grow. The Card Kingdoms, the Dave and Adams, the Channel Five Balls, they will all grow. And if you fight this system, you will lose. There's no model for a local game store without an online digital presence, and the online digital presence is where you're going to make the majority of your money, where you're going to make the majority of your volume. It's a volume game. It's just like selling cars. I sell a lot of cars, and there are certain points where if you sell 200 Buicks, then you get this payout. If you sell 200、uh, Sierra 1500s, you get this payout. Well, it's the same with magic cards. If you buy in volume, you're going to get a very high discount. Dave and Adams is the same way. If you buy over five hundred dollars, they give you five percent off. If you buy more, they give you more percent off. All the way, it scales, right? Because to them, they would rather sell a lot to one person than a bunch to a bunch of people. Because shipping, right? Shipping like is intensive for them because they offer free shipping. Now, one of the crazy, crazy things about this whole story is, and the fight against、uh, chains. These stores,、um, you would be surprised、um, who's contacting me to sell inventory.、Uh, these are suppose I, I go on their Facebook. They look on the surface very successful, but the books, the that's why they must sell me. They must try to sell me a box at eighty because they can't sell it to me at seventy. Because they would go bank,、uh, they cannot do it. They cannot take that type of loss on a product. But when you have Master Series, when you have Eternal Masters, which was a disaster because they reprinted it again, that was unexpected. And you have Iconic Masters, which was an epic disaster. You have Commander Anthology, not Com- Commander Anthology, did well, Foil Kalia and all. But you have Plain Chase Anthologies, this anthology, that anthology, and you're just your card quality stock is very low. There's lots of counterfeits now in stores.、Uh, my local game store I used to go to.、Um, I will always, I'm going to mention their name.、Uh, DNA Comics used to have a store manager who would buy fake cards. Now I don't know.、Um, in particular, there was a Goblin Guide which was so fake that it was,、uh, you know, like okay. And that's bad, right? But I don't know if it's because the store manager doesn't know, or is buying it from an attractive female who's trying to get him to pay the most. Who knows, right? Who knows? Actually, I know. So anyway, things have changed in the retail space.、Um, it is not where you want to be.、Um, it is not where you want to be a year from now. It's not where you want to be today. 
you are going to get blown out by Amazon. You are going to get blown out by Sports and More, David Adams, and Rudy. They all have different models. Uh, David Adams' model is free shipping, buy in bulk. Uh, Rudy's model is buy, you know, the hottest product right now for a good price. And Sports and More model is just sell in volume. Just control the market and make sure no one gets into the market. Like they were selling these boxes for 100 uh Iconic Masters for 140 when the next lowest price was 170. Free shipping too, right? So what what are people going to do? They're going to go with their local game store for 200. There's a local game store next to DNA Comics and they they were trying to sell me boxes for 240. They can't sell it for lower than that because the employees need to be paid. The electricity needs to be put on. It's a very sad situation. I've seen it being replayed all the time for these local game stores. And it's not a model. I'm going fully online from the start. I have no interest in the being a WPN. Uh, Rudy, I believe, is not a WPN. He might be now, but I know previously he wasn't. And even if he is, like, I don't know, know if he will be for that long because the model, the model would, maybe you're a WP in, in name only, but you're going to get your price. You're going to get your cards from somewhere else. Uh, Sports and More has a very brilliant model where they take, I'm pretty sure what happens, given the fact that they've pre-ordered or pre-sold a thousand of these things already uh, of the Masters 25, there, there has to be a model they're doing that is not available to your local game store. That's the, otherwise your local game store would be pre-selling stuff at a hundred and fifty right now. No, hundred and sixty right now is what their price point is. Why would your local game store not do that if they can make money? The answer is they cannot do it. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.